We'll get it going. By the way, I got a lot of good friends in this town that are way smarter than I am. Uh, Christine Augustine's one of them. My next guest is another one. Uh, and uh, her name is uh, Marty Gellens, and Marty and her husband, T. Powder, dear friends of mine, but she's also probably the smartest real estate person in the city and the county. Uh, Maxine and Marty Gellens, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services uh, is the name of their company. Uh, uh, look, like much of the state, San Diego County never fully recovered from the 2008 recession and the financial crisis before the 2020 recession. Um, residential construction has yet to gain much momentum, uh, multifamily construction. But what's really interesting here is when we had Marty on the air with us uh, right in the middle of COVID uh, just a month ago or six weeks ago, it was interesting to see what happened right when COVID started with the San Diego real estate market. And then something really interesting happened. I'm going to bring her back to kind of give us an update. And uh, she joins us now on News Radio 600 Coco. Marty, how are you, girl? Good to talk to you. I'm, thank you, Sally. I'm great. How are you? Good. I'm glad to have you on air. Um, first of all, you can go to gellens.com. That's G E L L E N S.com. I'll also put that up on my website at kogo.com, keyword Sully. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, let's revisit what happened at the beginning of COVID. Obviously, um, uh, you know, things pulled back for a time, but then they didn't. Can you give us that whole overview again, Marty, of what happened in the beginning? And then we'll talk about now. Absolutely. So uh, when the um, COVID-19 shutdown happened in mid-March, um, so did the real estate market. It completely shut down. We had no business um, and we have a very thriving business. And for about 30 days, number one, we couldn't show houses, but there were no calls. There was no activity. There was nothing. And um, after the first 30 days, we were deemed an essential business. The governor allowed us to at least start showing homes. And it took, you know, a few weeks, of course, to ramp up a little bit. But once that happened, it has been like the floodgates opened and the market has been literally as swift as it was in 2005. Well, you we know, have not seen, well, seen the, it like this since then. Well, yeah. here's, what's interesting is I've stolen your, I stole your, uh, your explanation probably a hundred times, not only on national TV, but local television here after I interviewed you the first time, because... The big question for me has always been, hey, Sully, how come the real estate market uh, isn't suffering like it was in the beginning? And you were the only one that I heard that gave a satisfy satisfactory explanation. Why initially, I'm going to ask you again, did we go from no business to suddenly, oh, my gosh, it's going crazy here? And, it, I, and I, th I, think the, I think the short answer is supply and demand. But talk about the inventory side, because that's really what happened, right? Well, absolutely. I mean, there was a big pent up demand because nobody could look at any houses. Um, there, some people took their homes off the market. And then when it opened up again, a few things, I mean, supply and demand, of course, we, uh, there weren't as many houses and people needed houses. We started seeing people from other areas coming to San Diego. There, there has been a few things that have happened since we've spoken. One, a lot of people from other uh, parts of the country who now can work from home and will work from home because they've learned how to work from home, want to come to San Diego, an amazing place to live. And so we have an influx of people from other places. We also have people in San Diego that are moving around within their own community, switching houses to accommodate their new needs. And it's been unbelievable. And it's, um, you know, we still have a, a big shortage of inventory. I mean, listings are down 50% um, year over year from last year in San Diego County. So Marty, Marty, Gellens our, that Marty Gellens, our guest here, she's a realtor, she's a luxury specialist. Maxine and Marty Gellens, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, the name of their company at uh, California Properties. Also go to gellens.com. And um, Marty, here, so, so my question for you is, is, you know, we hear all the time, oh, it's a buyer's market, it's a seller's market. Is there ever a buyer's market or a seller's market or is that just a term that, that us consumers like to use to, uh, to justify overspending or under <laughs> or selling good. How does that work? I, you know, I kind of think so. I've never been one to use those terms just because you can make a case for, for either side, really. And yeah. I feel that way right now. You know, it's a seller's market because there's very limited inventory. So we're telling clients, if you want to sell, now is a great time. There's very little on the market, very little competition. If you're a buyer right now, it's also a great time. The market's flying. The market's great. The interest rates are so low. And if those tick up, 
you know, then you've got to pay, pay, you know, you have less buying power. So there's, there's good aspects to both sides of it. Hey, Marty, so you and your mother have a great history here in San Diego, and uh, you guys have been locals for 30, 40 years, although you couldn't be here for 30 years because you're not yet 30 years old. <laughs> However, let's uh, talk. Let, very nice, but yeah, you know that's not true. <laughs> let's, talk about, um, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the uniqueness of San Diego real estate versus the rest of the country because um, it seems to me that we're doing better than most. And now, is that because uh, there's been a sh any sort of a demand shift from single family residential to rentals or vice versa? Is it because of the significant reduction in, in inventory? What, what, do you, what makes us so much different here other than just the weather? Well, um, I think the weather has a lot to do with it. I think we've fared pretty well for such a large city in COVID. And so that weather thing, you know, bodes to the indoor, outdoor, the walkability, being outside all the time. If you're going to be stuck at home, being able to go out of your home. Um, you know, as far as there are a lot of other parts of the country that are doing really well, too. You know, through my company, we know a lot of people all over the country. And I've, of course, been speaking to them. And there's a lot of other cities that it's flying as well. There are certain uh, markets like Manhattan where, you know, there is so much on the market of people people leaving there and they're suffering, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, overall, the whole country's doing really well. But San Diego, you know, is, is a step above. We have so many different types of properties to live in here. You know, right. you kind of alluded to that. We've got... You know, we've got a great second home market. We have a great rental market. We have the beach. We have the inland. We have sort of the mountains. We have different climates. You can get anything you want in San Diego and then drive two hours and get to the snow, be at the beach in the same day. I mean, right. where can you get that, right? No, it's exactly right. So, and by the way, is there an area of San Diego that's hotter than the rest of it right this very second? In other words, is, you know, downtown gas lamp, you know, high rise living more, more uh, desirable yet and, and more expensive? Or is it, you know, in the rural areas out like Fallbrook and Bonsal and those, what, what's, or is the whole place just hot? You know, it's an interesting question because I, I, what we've seen is a lot of people are looking for different types of things. Some that have been in, let's say the people living in the high rise are like, oh my gosh, I don't want this if this happens again, so I'm going to move rural. And the people that are living in rural are like, oh, my gosh, we were stuck in the boonies. I want to be more urban. So literally, that's what we're seeing is a real change of lifestyle for everybody. So there's a lot of just moving around. And, and literally, most of the markets are good. And I have to tell you, we have sold during this time frame from as little as a $380,000 little studio in La Jolla, okay, up to... 16 million on the beach wow. in La Jolla. Right now, currently, we have three ocean fronts in escrow, one in Mission Beach, one in La Jolla, one in Del Mar. We've closed another ocean front in La Jolla. And these are uh, multi million dollar homes. All of them are second home. All of them are second home. Wow. That's it, which, which is a comment on, on you know, what the economy's been doing uh, over the last several years. All right, so let's talk. Well, before I let you out of here today, uh, I have to, I, and you never talk about this, and I'm going to bring this up just because I'm such great pals with, with you and, uh, and T-Pat, your husband. T-Pat's one of the guys that actually gave, along with Chris Goldsmith at Belly Up, it was Belly Up Tavern and T-Pat Stubbs who kind of put my band kind of in the spotlight several years ago. So I have such an affinity for all you guys. But... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust you on something that nobody knows about you guys. Or I'm, a lot of your friends do, but T-Pat uh -oh. Stubbs and Marty Gellin Stubbs don't have just one son. They have two sons that not only played college baseball at USC, but were both drafted in the major league by the same team, the Houston Astros. Will you talk about that for a minute? Because that is such a cool thing to watch happen to you guys as I'm watching it on social media and I get to hang out with you guys. But that's a pretty big deal. Talk about, talk about those guys. Oh, my gosh. Well, I could talk about that, you know, all day long because that's the joy in, in our lives, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's been a lifelong dream for both boys. They've worked their entire lives and given up a lot to, to be where they are today. And um, Garrett's actually with the Houston Astros and have been traveling with the team. 
Um, you know, it's been an interesting time playing Major League Baseball with a pandemic. He literally, which is interesting for he people to hear, he goes to the field and he has to go back to his hotel room if they're on the road, or he goes back to his place in Houston if they're in Houston. There is no socializing. There's no getting together with other players. Yeah. There's nothing. There is, you know, field to home or field to the hotel room. So it's been interesting. And our other son, CJ, he's at home because there's no minor league baseball. So right. he's very anxious to... Uh, get the season going again, you know, when spring training happens again in March, which I'm sure it will, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, exactly right. <laughs> Listen, I want them both on the air when they get to back to town. So that, that's, part of the, oh. that's part of the inside scoop as a, as a broadcast awesome. guy that knows you guys. Hey, Marty, thank you so much. Marty Gellens Stubbs, uh, realtor luxury specialist. Their website is gellens.com. A, uh, a little overview on what's going on with San Diego real estate uh, as we, uh, as we are, are exiting, hopefully, this COVID pandemic. So there you go. All right. Once again, gellens.com. Coming up.